the weatherman, and he makes it rain buckets on the court. Harrison Prieto is balancing Florida State basketball with studying meteorology. And he joins us now from Tallahassee. Uh, you were a walk-on in Florida State, Harrison. And what's interesting, you are actually one of the Green Vipers. You're part yeah. of the Green Vipers green team. What's the story behind that nickname? Yeah, so a couple of the guys uh, that were doing scout team for last year, their AAU team, which is like kind of the recruiting circuit for basketball, uh, their their team was the Vipers. So whenever they were on our uh, walk-on squad and then the scout team, they uh, kind of morphed the team into the green team Vipers. So that, that's kind of where that came from. So who gave you your nickname of the weatherman? I mean, it's kind of obvious, but was it your friends? Was it your coach? Who actually gave you the nickname? Yeah, Coach Gates. Uh, it kind of developed over time when they kind of realized how much of a uh, weather nut I am. You know, and uh, over time, making forecasts and stuff for them, they eventually kind of came to the – the terms that I was going to be the weatherman. Not being bad, not bad being compared to Kevin Durant in yeah. terms of, you know, he's the also, he's the other weatherman. Okay, so you're obviously interested in weather. Katrina was a big inspiration for you. How is that? Yeah, I, I was real young when it came through, but I remember so much about it. Uh, it just, just, I was in a, like amazement the whole time that the storm was going on and it really kind of hooked me into the weather and I, I had to understand kind of how everything works. Mm -hmm. So like I needed to know the forces that made you know that event happen and that's kind of driven me through high school and college now uh, i feel like that, we all have that story yeah. every meteorologist has happen? that event and how, why right. and how did this happen we say the same thing okay yep. so you went through michael last year so you know what was it like being part of the fsu weather team during that hurricane yeah so i actually had to stay in the basketball training center which is just across from where we are right now in the civic center uh, with the team. And so I was kind of helping uh, Coach Ham, you know, figure out the timing of the event so that we could go out and eat, but we had to be back in, you know, before the storm hit. So I was out in the parking lot for most of the storm uh, as it was coming through. I don't know if Coach Ham knows that. Uh, the cat's out <laughs> well, the bag on now. that now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Harrison, listen, thanks for joining us. Um, Wait, one your more game? question real quick. Yeah, oh, okay, no, I want to ask him, yeah, like, I do you want to go into broadcasting? Because you, you're really good. I got to tell you. Yeah, I don't know. There's so much about the field that really, like, excites me, you know. I, I grew up kind of wanting to be like a hurricane hunter, I thought. And yeah. then I was like, no, I want to get into forecasting. And since I've been in college, uh, broadcasting's definitely been something I'm, I'm real interested in now. How's the math treating you, Harrison? And the physics. Uh, you know what? I'm through most of it, but nice. uh, it's, it's always hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know. Say hi to Dr. Alquist for me and all the other professors, because, of course, that's where I got my meteorology degree. And best of luck. With basketball and meteorology, maybe he'll be working with us. As in a well, they're playing years, this weekend you know? too, by the way. Uh, the next game Saturday afternoon against NC State.